happy full moon in Pisces. This is super blue full moon. And this is a rare one. The last time it happened was in 2009. And the next one won't happen until 2037, maybe, around that time. The moon was beautiful yesterday and today as well. So I hope you all had a chance to look at it. The moon is in the first house of Aries. Yes, 2037. So around that time, you will experience this again. So tonight is the super blue full moon in Pisces. It's the second full moon of the year. So if... Um, you're here in this video tonight, meditate before you go to bed, you wake up in the morning, do a meditation on self. It's in the first house. So there's so many things to focus on, but the most important thing is the self, okay? And the first house in astrology, the first house on the chart. So just focus on you, so what does that mean for yourself? Focus on yourself being the master, the, the, the leader of yourself. Okay, that's a very strong Saturn energy. And the Neptune um, energy, because those planets are, are in the first house, is also dream work. So that's why meditating right before you go to bed or right when you wake up in the morning is going to be so powerful for this full moon, okay? And the energy is definitely stronger um, because the moon is closest to the earth on its axle, on its on its movement. Okay, so this is going to be very, very powerful. And along with the Pisces full moon, we're having, you know, the hurricanes in Florida. So that's, you know, that's not that great for the flooding and the pulling of the moon and all of that. However, for your meditation for your body made up of so much water you can pull in on that energy in your manifestation you can the most powerful things for this uh, full moon is um, being organized so that can be mentally and around your your home any kind of healing around cleaning and and organizing you could do that um, some people might have traumas from that right um, you can also focus in on on being calm so uh, you can do some EFT tapping some meditating on on you know feeling more calm more relaxed that's a very strong Saturn energy you can use that Saturn energy for that in the first house we also have in the first house the moon the moon is all about our emotions so if you're feeling moody and if you're feeling emotional, you can meditate on that. You can do meditation for that. If you've been annoyed by people, uh, if you feel like your emotions are too strong for that, you can work on calming yourself that way. Neptune in the first house doesn't focus inward. It focuses outward on socializing, connecting with others. So you can do a positive meditation in how you communicate with others. So you might do um, a, a visualization of seeing yourself communicating well with someone and and or keeping your distance like a protective shield from that person so you can use Neptune meditation in that. We have eight planets in retrograde including Chiron and the south and north nodes. So you can definitely do a meditation on your past life, your future self, you you can see any any kind of blockages that were preventing you. You can use the retrograde energy that's going around to allow yourself to see things clearly, see your blockages clearly, whether it's your your own creation or or someone else um, negative energy and clear that with the moon. Right now you have Mercury retrograding in Virgo and Mercury is the ruling planet of Virgo. So so this energy 
it's, it's a slow kind of organizing energy. Some of us might move faster. Others might move slow, slowly in that whole organizing process, but getting rid of clutter will be very good um, in the manifesting under this blue moon, okay? So even if you feel like you're too tired to do candle work or, or um, candle um, meditation or whatever meditation you're doing, the best meditation really is of the mind, of um, dream state, right? So the dream right before you're going to take a nap or you're going to sleep or right when you wake up, you can just, your body is still relaxed. So definitely meditate at night and in the morning, okay? And if you're hearing this in the morning, then meditate that next night as well, okay? So that's the main message for this blue moon. Move the body, stretch the body, get the body really relaxed. It's in Pisces, and Pisces rules over the feet, the legs, and the penile gland. So if you're feeling extra tired, being very gentle with your feet would be good. Stretching the legs would be good. I did that a lot in yoga class tonight. Um, there's also the penile gland, so um, deep meditation, okay? Uh, the meditation would be on self, so feeling confident in yourself. The first house is all about our appearance and caring about yourself, putting yourself first, um, your, your outward personality. But the most important thing is, is truly putting yourself first and setting boundaries even. And it's so soft and subtle. It's very graceful. It's a graceful energy. It's a soft energy, okay? It's about the body, healing the body. Also, new beginnings, a new beginning for yourself. What do you want that is new for you, right? And it's like you are creating your new self, a new um, way of expressing yourself, a new way of like when you're meeting this new self of yours, this new um, creation of you is also the true you. So this blue moon can be getting back to your true self, right? So it's first impressions. It is your attitude towards yourself. So reaffirming and positive affirmation regarding yourself will be powerful, right? So just knowing yourself and, and then how are you thinking of yourself will affect how you approach your life, right? So the first house is very much about what the outside is, but truly the outside is a reflection of the inside. So it's, it's the house ruled by Aries. So it's giving you that power, but also that softness of Pisces energy. All right. So definitely get your mind relaxed, get your body relaxed, stretching the feet, moving the legs. Um, be very gentle with the legs, the toes, around this time, any sign that the moon is in, you want to be gentle to the body, body parts that it's governed. So when you're in your meditation, if your feet are feeling tense, try relaxing them, try stretching them a little, something nice and easy, and then get your mind ready for your meditation, focusing on yourself, what is best for yourself, reflecting on the power of the new moon where you'll find closure on things. So everything leading up to this full moon is all about the self. All your experiences somehow leads back to you, right? And you'll, you'll know that individually for yourself. So tailor your meditation around that. What do you need right now at this full moon? And put it into a dream work where you're visualizing, seeing that happen. And it's like you're putting yourself to sleep in the dream in the reality that you want, in the dream, in the reality that you want, based on your visualization. So make it something positive and good, the solution. All right, so I hope that works for you guys, and I hope to see you all on this page, <laughs> and if you're local, then in classes. So happy super blue full moon in Pisces.